just tuning into the channel and you didn't catch the off-road video that we did with Matt Pinto. He is one of our sponsored drivers. He's been racing go-karts for how long now? Uh, almost four years. For HRT driver development and uh, he's going to the game. I think he's going to be the next Oliver Jarvis. First it's go-karts, then it's the cup cars and uh, I, don't, I don't even know if we're still going to have the RT24P at that point. But hey, formula, right? I'll use this thing, man. This thing rips. <laughs> I would love to see you racing in a CX-50 if there's some kind of series that Rally we for it. This thing is wild. <laughs> yeah, I, I mentioned it in the other video. This is my favorite SUV in the Mazda lineup right now. It's the right size for me. It's the perfect adventure mobile. Uh, it's got plenty of cargo space and it's just that wide stance. Uh, you sit a little bit lower than you do in the other SUVs and it just corners so happily. It just feels like a really big street legal go-kart to me. Yeah, I'd say yeah. a lot of SUVs feel a little out of place mm -hmm. out here. Uh, this is more than happy to do it and do it really well. And it drives better than some cars, honestly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's uh, an SUV, right? Man, you, you could have said it better, especially after that uh, off-road stuff we just pulled. Yep. Uh, I'm shocked. Flip my hair back and forth. I'd say you flip everything back and forth at that point. And you know this road well, so, so do your thing. Expectations just still come up to after those last bits, but <laughs> have fun, be safe. Don't get caught. That's the plan. How do you feel about that turbo? Hey, you know, man, it's... Uh, one, it sounds great uh, in the cabin. You know, I know a lot of people don't mind, but there are a lot of people who love a good turbo noise. This is a, this is a great turbo noise, and it's punchy. It's really, really punchy. How's the predictability? Are you feeling a lot of spooling? No, no. For as far as turbochargers go, this one's really linear. You know, you're not too worried about putting your foot down and having to wait. Uh, the power is really accessible. It's there when you need it. The red line on this isn't too high. It seems like the power is available pretty low down in the rev range. So the turbo is actually a really easy trick that Mazda pulled off. Do you ever water a garden from afar and you stick your thumb in the hose to make a water shoot maybe? Yes. Same deal. We're just giving you a constriction to get pressure out of the gate and the outcome is a lot more linear. Very cool. Yeah, so this is fifth gear and you know, you put your foot down and it doesn't stay in fifth gear. Also a very forgiving transmission, right? It makes my mistakes go away. How's the body roll feel for you on road? It's really surprisingly for an SUV, it's flat. Yeah. And there's nothing mechanically dynamic about it, but wasn't it nice that it also had that flex while we were off-roading? Yeah, I'm sure, you know, I haven't seen the video from outside yet, but that was not flat, right? Um, so for it to be able to do both is surprising to me and do it as well as, as it did both ways, you know, on-road and off-road. I'm pleasantly surprised, you know, driving it now, and it feels like this is what it wants to do. Yeah. When you're off-road, it also felt like it's, it's what it wanted to do. You know, it'll put a smile on your face no matter where you are. You know, one of our little elders up there, always like the rear of that Mazda 3 generation great little car. Mazda, bring back the speed. This is a little bit of speed. It's right, no it manual, feels like but, it. but you get that speed in it. It's quick. Uh, the engine's really torquey. It's really, really torquey. Floor it. It just moves, man. Just Minus the torque steer that you had in the speed three. Minus the torque steer. Yeah. A really good all-wheel drive system. It feels rear bias. Yeah. I don't know that it is, but it's predictive. So anytime you're going to push it hard, it's going to send all that power to the rear as well. That's huge. You. That's huge. Yeah. The CX-70 is rear wheel bias, and I can't wait for you to drive that. That's actually, even though it's a massive car, uh -huh. it's the most Miata-like <laughs> really? of the SUVs. That's yes. sick. I can't wait for that. So this is only a six-speed. This is only a six-speed, but six real gears. It's not a CVT. It's not some fake out that other brands might put on. It feels like one, too. You pull a paddle, you get a gear. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if Mazda uses the same steering rack of you know, all their vehicles, just kind of different ratio and different weight. But the steering is, is snappy, it's right? Quick. Yeah. It's quick. If you need to pull off a quick maneuver, you're good. Yeah, it's you know this is no Miata, but as far as the SUVs goes, it's <laughs> it's, it's pointy. Yeah. If you're not this car will not bore you. You'll uh, you'll enjoy this car. You know whether you're mom, dad, brother, sister, you know you're a race car driver, you're towing something. It's all really sharp. Speaking of which, I think your mom's lease is coming up, right? Because I'm not going to have you give up the Miata, but it is. maybe, master plan. I know, I'm right? doing my best. Mom, we can get a little something where she can tow you around and I can right? tour the U.S. Mom, I know a place. You know, she'll never admit this to anyone, but she likes a pep in her step Yeah. when it comes to cars. Well, we yeah. won't tell anyone. I'm winking. You cannot tell, but I am winking. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're on the way back to civilization. You want to give me some closing thoughts? Yeah. yeah. Everything we threw at it. Drove it hard, on-road, off-road. Stayed flat when I wanted it to be. It 
flexed like crazy when it needed to. Mm -hmm. uh, given the off-road stuff, I'm I'm shocked by the steering. The steering is deeply impressive. Yeah. Well, Matt, thanks so much for coming along. Uh, do you have any final thoughts or things that you want to say to the camera or give us a plug for people where to find you? Sure, man. Um, first, thank you, Omar, and uh, everyone at, over at uh, Patterson Autos for being part of my racing and having me out. Um, this was a blast. I hope to do many more of these. You guys can find me on TikTok and Instagram at Matthew.Minto. Uh, that's P-A-T-T-H-E-W dot M-I-N-T-O. Keep up my racing and my videos there. Big thank you to the HRT Driver Development for making me into the driver that I am right now. Give them a follow on Instagram as well. Uh, keep up with, with not only me, but the rest of the team and their racing and their progress, whether that be in go-karts, cars, you'll see it all there. Uh, you can find a race schedule, you can find a phone number if you want to give us a call, or even come drive yourself. Uh, you're welcome to do that. I want to drive. I know a place. I'm going to work out for this. Huh? Excellent. You know what? I, I can probably make some time. Don't you forget to like, subscribe, and tell us what you think in the comments down below. We'll see you next time.